Hi everyone, it's Martha. Let me put a little more light on this subject. Okay, try and get some natural light in here. I am going to start the new project today. This is going to be based on um, Kate's Cloths. And that's um, on Facebook, you can look her up. And she has a website too, although I've tried a couple times to go to the link and it's broken. But anyway, there's probably another website out there for her. Um, she does manipulated fabric. Um, she teaches classes on how to do it. She's in the UK. I am not, clearly. And I have been dying to do this for at least a couple of years since I saw her the first time or saw the work that's done in the classes the first time. So I very much wish that she would do an online course, but you know, that's not in the works as far as I'm aware. So anyway, I have pulled out my very cheap, um, not very good hoop and some fabric. This fabric I got from Artistic Artifacts. They're almost everything I'm using, almost everything I'm using today will be from Artistic Artifacts. And I will also um, link them below. You can buy these things online from them. There are a few things that I have from other projects, leftovers, whatever, whatever, that I am going to stick in there too. But I... I picked up, set that aside, I picked up this bundle probably a year ago-ish, and I did a haul video on it. I haven't looked up to see when it is, but it has a lot of very cool things in it, and they dye these and then sell them. And I took one of their dye classes, and I have other bundles that were undyed, well, a bundle that was undyed that has some interesting things in it too, but not nearly as interesting as this bundle here. So um, these are just, <coughs> excuse me, I needed to get a drink before this and I didn't. I was excited that I think I can get this to work this time. I'm probably not going to use this piece. Um, I am definitely going to use this piece I may use part of this here, um, tear it off, but I may not. Uh, I don't know if I can get this to work. It's awfully fine. Maybe this, but I'm sort of wanting to hoard that. And this has a lot of the greens in it, and nothing else in here really has the greens in it. This is more peachy, but it goes to these oranges and sort of golds and... I'm going to try to use a piece of this. I almost thought about cutting this off, but it's got this beautiful teeny tiny cut work in it. I don't know if that's showing up on camera for you. Um, and then it, it kind of goes to these, mm, I don't know. I don't know how they're showing up on camera. They look a little pink when I look at my uh, feedback, but it's, I guess it is, but it's sort of edging towards burgundy, sort of, kind of. And then there's this. That might be a little thin, but I might try gathering it and putting that in there as well. And this is just a piece of cotton that was dyed. That's my weather alert. <laughs> this is way more brown. This is charcoal-y. It's, some of this almost looks like it was dyed with acorns, but it wasn't. These were dyed with Procyon dyes because that's how they do it at Artistic Artifacts. This has a lot more kind of orangey sunset yellow in it, so I don't expect to be using this, but I might. And this is back to that sort of pinkish burgundy, and I don't know. I may use this side of it here. I don't think I have any other fabrics either that I dyed or that I got from them in another bundle in this color scheme. So I'm going to stick with this color scheme as much as I can. 
This is bright and sparkly, but I feel like these colors are dull enough that I need a little sparkle in it. And this is just some eyelash yarn that I had in the basement. I'm going to try and make that work. I have some wool. This is unspun sheep's wool. I think it's sheep. Might be alpaca. I don't know. Anyway, I pulled this out of a bag of stuff and it's got very much perfect colors in it. Let me move my hand. And then there's this. Oops, some more of that. Um, there's this. I don't know if I can get this to work. I'm thinking of rolling it up sort of kind of like this and then just sewing it down and I think that'll work that'll give it some height and then there are these which I don't know if they will fit into the scheme or not and they're more on the brown sides but I think you know it might work I don't know now, I have to keep referring back to the Facebook page where on Kate's Cloth, I think it's cloth, maybe it's cloths, I don't know. I have to figure that out. Um, and I have to keep referring back to that. And I might print some of those pictures out just because I have to keep referring back to it. But my plan is, I probably should iron this and get that crease out of there first because it's, it's even noticeable on the camera as far as I can see. Like this piece here, I'm going to spend some time this evening and gather it with thread. I'm just going to, I'm going to use a thick thread, pull it through there. Actually, what I'm going to do is I figured out if I fold it in half like this, let's see, that's the back side. If I fold it in half like this and sort of offset that fringy area and I gather it with a thread, then I can sort of, and I could do it in a straight line like this and sew it down like that, or I can sort of gather it. I don't know if I can do this on camera. Sort of gather it. And I think this needs to be ironed too. And if I gather, gather, go, oh gosh, my tongue does not want to work. Gather it the right way. Anyway, you get the idea then I think I can sort of, see, I did this before I turned you on and it turned out perfect. <laughs> I should have stuck a thread in it then. But if I gather it the right way, I can sort of make a flower out of it. And that would stick up like that or be on an edge like that. Now I do notice that all around the edges, like she crams the fabrics in the centers. And then all around the edges are um, French knots with, colored thread. So that is going to be my mission for this project. Um, yeah, I'm very excited about it. I want to keep some of these light colors. That's a doubled over hem. But as I said, I hate to get rid of that part. So maybe I'll just cut a piece off of here. I don't know if this will rip or not. That's cut I'm going to move this out of the way so I don't cut that by accident. <laughs> that background fabric um, I think I mentioned to you is also, I don't think this will tear. We'll see. Oh, 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 yeah, that tears nicely. <laughs> Way better than I thought it was going to. Now this has a really uneven edge on it. It was like chopped up, but I'm not worried about that. And I will gather this as well tonight. Just, you know, just some soft gathers like that. And then it can just, it, can, it they just stitch it down. They just stitch it down. And they cram all this fabric and they use, um, it's almost like a chenille, thick chenille, they almost look like chenille pipe cleaners, but they're not. Um, 
yarn in there and we are going shopping tomorrow. We're going to Aldi and then we have to go to Joann's and I'm going to look for some things there in these colorways. Not that I want to buy anything new, but I really want a variety of stuff for this project. Now, I could take this end of this and I just don't want to lose this lace design. Like, I could do that. Yeah, I don't want to lose the lace. So the lace is not going to be used in this project. I cherish the lace way, way, way too much. So that's not going to be used. I can use ribbon, and I'm going to look in my basement and see if this is really reddish compared to everything else, but it's got to be whatever the fiber is. So I'm going to iron some of these pieces out, and I am going to start gathering. And maybe I'll do this one on camera and then um, now they just use white thread I'm not too fond of that idea however I don't really know what color thread I would use with this because I don't have anything maybe I do hold that thought <laughs> maybe I'm just joking myself I don't want to use my variegated thread because you're not really gonna see it that well I'm going to use this very fine cream colored thread although that's kind of light i have this brown i could use that that's um size eight i'll bet you that would work i'm going to use that and i can always buy more tomorrow i have this but it's um five it's a size five and that's really thick i don't know that i want it that thick That's five as well. Hmm. I might have to wait until I go shopping. Oh, maybe I'll go with that one. Because I can get more of this. I should be able to get more of this. I hope I can get more of that. And if I need to go browner, um, I'm going to write myself a list and look for um, more like rusty, brownish, darker, beigey, burgundy colors and see if I can get size five in those. Our selection around here isn't that great. Joann's has a fairly good selection. Um, and the other place is Hobby Lobby that has a decent selection. So I also finished, um, I wanted to show you this, Martha. I finished off this little needle book that I started the cover on and showed in my previous videos about the sewing book, needle book. And so I finished that off and I now have it closing like that. I think that little, that little spool of thread is so cute. I got the little wooden spools one day in the hobby section of the craft store. And um, I just wrapped some variegated thread around it. So I think it's adorbs. And then I made another one today because I was on a roll. Where's my other one? Oh, <laughs> it's right here. I, I guess I'm in a blue and yellow phase, but that's why I wanted to work on something different. So I made this one today as well. And I, li I think I like this one the best. Um, I could put something else in the second pocket here, but scissors are too... They don't stay in now if I put like some sort of snap ribbon with a snap on it or something but I don't have any snaps that may be in the future but yeah so I made these two and they were fun and quick and easy and I really like them anyway get on with the jibber jabbing the other thing I want to show you and I've been meaning to pull this out this is a tool that we picked up at Harbor Freight it was I think $5.99 and what it is is it's a magnet and it has a telescoping handle so it's probably a yard three feet long ish and um you can pick up your needles and stuff with it so let's see I have some pins right there oops I'm sorry I didn't mean to hit you well it's not picking them up. 
Why not? I hit you again. Sorry. It did pick it up. So I don't know if you can see that. There it is. So I got I got that because it's not a very strong magnet, though. I'm a little disappointed, to be honest. I got that because I'm always um, dropping pins, needles on my carpet. And, you know, don't want don't want to step on those. <laughs> that hurts. Okay. All righty. Um, pick a needle, Martha. Yeah, so I... Oh, see, picked up the scissors just fine. <laughs> picked up those scissors just fine, too. So, you know, if you need a magnet, Harbor Freight... Sorry. Something on my tongue. I haven't even licked any thread yet today. Um... In the automotive department. This was in the automotive department. So there you go. Fancy dancy, right? All right, let's just gather this. And I'm going to do this part on camera. And then I will be back when I have all of my fabric strips and bits and stuff gathered that need to be gathered. Um, I will probably maybe pull out some yo-yos as well because they do use yo-yos in their work. Okay, so I want this a little... I hope you can see that I'm... I don't know. Last time I zoomed in, it really messed it up. So I'm just zooming in a little bit. Um, and I'm going to go... pretty big here as far as the gathers, the stitches for the gathers. Okay. Don't know where that came from. <laughs> Excuse my arm. Okay, I'm going to test this and see if I like the size. Yes. Now, the only thing is, you know what? I think if I want this to be more of a flower shape, I have to do it more at the bottom. Yes, ma'am. That is what I will need to do. Oh, goody, we get to rethread the needle. Sorry. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Either it goes well or it doesn't go well. Either I get it the first time or I struggle forever and ever. Okay. <sighs> All right. So I'm going to start this more at the bottom. I'm still going to do wide stitches and let's see what we get this time. Yep, that's what I want. So I want it to be more to the bottom. I hope this finds everybody doing well. We had some crazy weather last night. Um, my anxiety was up a little bit yesterday due to the predicted storms we were going to have, but we made out very, very well compared to a lot of people in our area. There were some pretty bad, strong thunder, lightning, rain, wind storms just south of us. Like I'm talking 20 miles, 20 to 50 to hundreds of miles. Um, I'm in central Virginia and everywhere from, like I said, just 20 miles south of us to down through North Carolina, we're getting slammed. And I'm talking really slammed with wind and hail and rain. We got strong 
We missed most of the storms. We could hear the thunder. Oh yes, I'm going to like that a lot. We could hear thunder all around us, but it didn't really rain until like 10, no, yeah, about 10 o'clock, 9.45, 10 o'clock p.m. And then, I knew that didn't look right. And then um, it lasted until about 11.30, 11.15, 11.30. So, very interesting night. Um, we never got under a tornado warning or watch, but yeah, the uh, weather was a little wild and woolly last night. Okay, why are you twisted? Because you twisted it. All right, and then if I attach this over here, like that. Okay. I have to. I know I'm twisting this every which way, aren't I? Never said I was an expert. <laughs> Never in a million years will I claim to be an expert at anything at all, except my own self. Okay. All right. That'll work. I think I'll connect these two. There, and then again up there. There. And yes, that's going to stick way out, but you know what? That's how the stuff in the photographs is. I mean, that's what she teaches the people to do. So I'm going to go back down here. I think I can do it without stabbing myself. And then I'm going to sort of go across to the other side so I can connect that more tightly. Yes, like that. Look at that. We're getting more fringe because the threads are pulling out. Fine with me. Okay, so I'm going to do more of this throughout the evening. And um, I'm going to be back after our little shopping excursion tomorrow morning. And I will film, hopefully, my process and see if we can pull this together. And for my heart, all I did was I cut a heart out of paper and I took the fabric out of here, laid it down, used a pencil because I don't trust my friction pens anymore. And I traced it on from the paper, paper heart. That's all I did. Ah, me and hearts, right? <laughs> well, Martha and her hearts. You knew I couldn't get too far away from them for too long, right? All right. I think I'm going to call this the last stitch. And tie it off. Oops. Come on. through one more time just so I can cut the stick the thread okay I'm just going to do a lot more of this they aren't all going to be circles I don't think <laughs> but um I will be back hold that thought because you won't know I'm gone <laughs>